Ja. Come in. Oh, I love those things. Can I have a look? Do you mind? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, sorry, I've, I've, I've lost a, um, a... Liver? Yes. <laughs> sorry, I should know that, really, shouldn't I? Um, sorry. I'll have a steadier hand later on, I, I promise you. Well, how do you feel about it, anyway? What, the hemi collector me? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Well, I have the long-term spending review to chair beforehand, so don't... don't think, um... I don't think you should rush the patient in too urgently. Look, give it to me. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> right. So, we must pace ourselves. Yes, well, I've prepared for that. And I've got us both a flapjack each. Have you spoken to Mr McGuinness this morning? Yes, yes. He's very glad that you're looking after him. He sees you as his patron saint. Well, it's your operation, Mr Levy. I'm just there to help. Come in. Sarah. No one will help me. Well, you didn't tell me you were coming. I, I... He's sick, Henrik. You have to help him. Specialist after specialist from Melman to Stockholm, just useless. Useless. That's a bad, madam. So, in you go. Take a seat. Or... No, thank you. All right, so if we um, want to pop him up on the bed. Thank you. Right, tell me what's been wrong with him. Oh, he's had it in the past, quite bad. Gastroesophageal reflux, but uh, this time it's been worse, you know, much worse. He's been so unwell. I see. And what's he been prescribed? A proton pump inhibitors. But he's still so sick, and aren't you? Tell him about the headaches. I mean, look, look at his complexion, you know, he's lost all colour, and, you know, nothing's working. He can hardly keep any food down. How long has he been like this? Months now. So much wasted time. I need help, Henrik. Please, you're the only one left. It... You will, won't you? Well, I can't treat him, you see, because he's my... We're related. Please. Anything. While paediatrics might be the natural fit with Mr. Levy and I then collaborating on the hemicolectomy, I would prefer to keep them close to me if possible. Is there any way we can keep them here on Keller? No, yeah, they can stay where they are. I'll call paediatrics, get them to bring down what we need. Great. But why us? Why not their own GP? Well, they have seen various doctors already. And what did they say? They did not assuage her concerns. Oscar is still unwell, according to Sarah, and getting worse. That she didn't tell you that she was heading this way with the boy. Well, frankly, Mrs. Johansson's travel arrangements are not my concern. Oscar needs my help. I owe it to the family to do what I can. I am not about to dissect what a parent will or will not do for a sick child. No, no, of course. No, we'll get on and we'll do a full medical history. Right now, the child is my priority. Understood? Understood. Eddie. Now, Eddie is a patient here too, and I am going to be looking after you both today. Okay, let's start with FBC, LFT and Unis. So I've taken some blood from Eddie, and now I'm going to do the same to you, okay? Boy, remember what I said. Now, Oscar, with Eddie's help, okay, I want you to show me where you're feeling most unwell. He's been having headaches too. Okay, so what about down here? No. no. Okay. What about up here? Yeah? Good boy. Okay, well done. Thank you, Nurse DeLuca. I think we'd better do an ultrasound. Thank you for this. 
didn't know what else to do, and I, I can't have anything bad happen again. You must understand. Yes. I do understand, Sarah. Thank you. I knew I could trust you. There's a lung on the floor. Oh, yes, Mr. Levy dropped it. Thank you. So, how are things with your family? Is that why I'm here? To discuss that saga again? No, actually, the reason you're here is John Mayfield. Serious concerns have been raised about your failure to comply with his living will. By whom? Now, you know that's not the way this works. Well, I promise you that Mr Mayfield... John Mayfield asked for this. I don't need promises, I need proof. Verbal confirmation from the patient with two doctors present. You can provide that, I take it? Well, if he recovers and remembers, I mean, he was pretty sketchy. In that case, it's all the more important that he recovers and cooperates with someone else there to see it. Please, I'm, I'm sorry, but you must speak to them. They won't listen. All right, well, you'll have to excuse me, I'm afraid, and I'm sure you've got a lot to get on with. Of course. Sarah, I think you should perhaps go and see how Oscar is, and please reassure him from me that we're doing all that we can. Bloods have come back normal, and the ultrasound doesn't show anything. Right, then we follow up with a pH impedance test. And if it still doesn't show anything? Then we keep going. If these tests are inconclusive... Well, I don't think they are inconclusive. I'm not after your hunches, Miss Goddard. I'm after answers. So am I. Then please save the ambiguity. OK, then. I'll be blunt. I don't think Oscar is ill. Nurse Luca, I'd like you to hear this as well, please. So, I've had Oscar's records from his previous hospital visits in Sweden. It seems he's already had a gastroscopy showed no problems, and when the doctors there raised the same concerns as we now have, Mrs Johansson simply left. So he's not ill? Well, he either believes he is or he's making it up. Or Sarah believes he's ill. Or she's lying. Is Oscar the kind of child to do this, to make this up? I don't know him well enough to say, I'm afraid. Well, if it is say that, and it's a case of fabricated or induced illness, then we have to protect Oscar. Yeah, if it is her. I mean, this is a very delicate matter. It's very painful for all involved, so I don't want to take any action until we're all sure what we're looking at. Understood? Thank you. While the preliminary tests have come back negative, these are only routine checks, avenues you've probably explored already. Yes. What I'd like to do is keep Oscar under observation so that when he does exhibit symptoms, we can document them correctly. OK. Yes, and recently it's been worse at night. With the vomiting and the pain, it, it wakes him up. As observation can be an uneventful process and may take some time, I thought I might let Oscar stretch his legs a little bit. I'd quite like to spend some time with him myself, if I may. Well, I'd, I would like to stay with him. I was hoping that we could use this time for Miss Goddard to talk you through the next few stages of testing. If you don't trust me, we can arrange something else. I do think it'll help, though. And I want Oscar to know that I'm here to look after him. My father, your great-grandfather, taught me how to make these. I haven't made one for ages. No. Have you been feeling ill for a little while now? How long have you been feeling ill for, do you think? Was it your mother who pointed out that you'd been ill? How's your mother been? Does she get upset with you sometimes, or, you know, when you want to stay up past your bedtime, or you don't want to eat your food, or...? She cries. She 
cries. Ah, you found my heart. Well done. Pop it in here. Just in there. That's right. Those vessels connect at the top there. Let me help you. That's it. And I'll put the lung back. And then you'll feel much better. So, do you remember waking up and being sick? No. So, did your mother tell you that you'd been ill? Okay. So, did you feel ill before she told you that you were? No. Okay. Mr. McGuinness is nearly ready, if you still fancy joining us. No, I'm very busy. I have to deal with the current situation, I'm afraid. No, oh, you'll be disappointed if you can't make it. Well, he'll be in safe hands with you, won't he? I might ask Mr. Crowhurst if he's available yeah, just in very, case. Very good. Oh, yes. Um, so you probably won't be needing this flapjack then, after all. Actually, I think I will. Thank you, Mr. Levy. This must be very stressful for you. It's good to be taken seriously and to get some answers. I'm very sorry you had to come here to get the answers. I just want him seen too. I don't care what it takes. Well, now, it must have been a very long day for you both. So, I got here. Ah. Yeah, you must be hungry. No, you'll make him sick. Uh, Oscar, no. I'm sorry, but you'll hurt him. It's OK. What are you doing? Well, it's a simple test. If he can keep that down, then we get a better sense of his condition. You're like them. You don't believe me. Well, there must be something wrong, otherwise he wouldn't have brought Oscar here to see me. This was a mistake. Of course it was a mistake. You wouldn't help your own son. Why would you help us? I am trying to help. Well, we don't want it. How could I ever think you'd be a good doctor when I've seen what a terrible parent you are? You don't know how to care, Henrik. You don't feel it. Sarah, please, I'm doing everything I can for you and Oscar, but I just require some honest answers from you. We're going, Oscar. What's happening? Oscar, be gone. No. Please don't harm my family any more than you have already. If you don't let me help you, you could lose Oscar. We're going. No, I know you care for Oscar. I know you do. But if you run away now, the situation will only get worse. And Oscar will suffer the most. Now, please, help me understand. What is it? What am I doing wrong? We don't think he's ill at all, Sarah. No. No, but he needs help, I'm sure of it. Now, look at... Look what happened to his father. If somebody doesn't help him, I... I see him. In Oscar. Don't you? Perhaps. Yes. Certainly. I'm reminded of everything I have felt about me surviving when he and others did not. All the ways I feel unpunished. It's a feeling of terrible unease. Yes. See, you feel it too. There, there's a problem. Yes, but that's in me. It's not in him. The unease is in me. Everything that happened must have been a terrible shock to you. Monumental. How did 
did I miss it? Him turning into that. Let me help you, Sarah. That's the way to help Oscar. I don't know how we all ended up here. <laughs> Do you think I have hurt him? I've scared him. I'll put you both back together. I promise. I'm, I'm so sorry. She said she was going to get something to eat and then she said something to him in Swedish. It must have been goodbye. I'm so sorry, I wasn't even thinking. Do you think she's at risk? I failed them. I had a chance to make amends and I neglected them again. No! No! Look, you can tell me to jog on, but I do not see this as a failure. Look, she has left the most valuable thing in her whole life with you. And trust me, you don't do that lightly. I will never tell you to jog on, Miss Goddard. No security, I have been in touch with the police. Maybe someday we'll have seen her. But for now, he's your grandson, Mr. Hansen. All right, here we go. Here we go, and Eddie. Miss Goddard told me you flew your plane with her today. I expect Eddie's feeling a bit hungry by now. What about you? Where's Mummy? Well, Mummy's asked me to take care of you for a little bit. But you have to help me with a few things, if you don't mind. First of all, what do you want for dinner? I want to make Mummy. Maybe meatballs? Perhaps Eddie would like meatballs. I bet he'd like them with cream sauce and chips. Look, Oscar. I'm going to take care of you. It's a promise I should have made a long time ago. But you have to help me out a bit, all right? You told me if I walk too fast, okay? <laughs> 